What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about tyres and specifically the 2019 changes to the way that Pirelli are going to bring tyres to a Grand Prix but specifically somebody asked me a great question which is a really good one which says in 2019 we've only gone down to three different colour denominations for the tyres and I'll explain all that in a moment. What happens in pre-season testing though and surely every compound is available how will people watching particularly given that lots of testing is going to be now broadcast live on, on television, given that, that all of these different compounds are there for every team to try, how will we know who's using what tyre? I've got my pens, my crayons and my scissors out <laughs> to explain all. Right, let's start by looking at what's different over a race weekend between 2018 and 2019 because there are some quite significant changes to tyres. Okay, we're looking at 2018. Let's just remind ourselves what we had. We had the orange super hard. <laughs> Anyone remember that? <laughs> no, you would, you'd be totally forgiven for it because we never ever saw it raced. We never saw it raced on a race weekend in 20, 2018. Never made an appearance. Uh, we had the blue hard tyre, didn't we? We had the white banded medium, the yellow walled soft, the red walled super soft, the purple ultra soft and the pink hyper soft. So that's what we had in 2018. Uh, it was quite complicated. There was a, a huge a rainbow of choices uh, for everybody to try and get their heads around. So what's happened for 2019? For 2019, things change. It's becoming simpler. And the concept behind it is to try and make it simpler for the viewer, for the fan. For fans who are not necessarily absolute uh, geeks and know-it-alls about our sport. And I think it makes a lot of sense. This is what they're going to do. Okay, this time we go to five different compounds, but we're not going to call them super hard, ultra soft, hyper soft. Those names have now gone. We now have, we've done away with that orange super hard, by the way. Um, not that anyone's going to notice. So the ultra hard and the super soft, or their, their 2019 equivalents, those compounds have now gone. We've got five compounds, but instead of giving them those complicated names, we're going to call them Compound 1, Compound 2, Compound 3, Compound 4. Can anyone guess what the last one's called? <laughs> compound 5. Now, those five compounds will be relatable in terms of their makeup to their equivalents from last year. So if you want to know how a tyre this year compares to a tyre from last year at a certain Grand Prix, you can still know that information. We will know that the fifth compound is the softest of the range and is equivalent to last year's Hypersoft. So if you want to make a year-on-year -year comparison, we can absolutely do that. But if you are a casual observer of Formula One, if you are tuning into our sport for the first time, the fans we're trying to capture and grasp onto and bring them into the sport full-time, well, all that's quite complicated. So now we have just three tyre colour nominations for people at home to try and get their heads around. It's far simpler, it makes an awful lot of sense to me, and this is how it's going to work. Those three colours are all you will see on a race weekend at a Grand Prix. Whatever the compound choice, whatever one of these compound choices is on a car uh, and been nominated by Pirelli for that particular race weekend, you will only see it as either the hardest, which will be the white banded tyre, the middle of the three, which will be yellow banded, or the softest. And that's all we really need to know. That makes it really simple to get your head around. If you still want to, as I say, make those comparisons, if you want to delve into the detail and understand exactly what that compound is, well, we can easily do that because Pirelli will tell us which of these three relates to each of the five compounds. So if Pirelli choose, for example, C5, compound five, to be the softest compound for that particular weekend, we will all get that information. But on the TV, when you see it, when you see the cars on track, 
all you will have to realise is that that particular car is running round on the softest of the three tyres for that weekend. So if you want to understand why one car is going more quickly than another as a casual fan, well you can easily see, well look, he's got the red, he's got the softest tyre on. You know, yeah, okay, he's got a slower car, but look, he stints much longer because he's on the hardest compound. We don't need to know exactly what the makeup, the chemical makeup of that compound is. We don't need to remember a ridiculously over-engineered name for it. We just need to know it's the hardest or the softest or the one in the middle. So to me, it makes an awful lot of sense. But, and this is what somebody pointed out to me uh, the other day, what happens for pre-season testing? Because in pre-season testing, coming out very soon, of course, in Barcelona, every one of the five 2019 compounds will be available for all of the teams to choose from. And at different times over the course of the, the testing week, they'll all be trying lots of different compounds at different times, on different cars, doing different types of runs with them. So how on earth as a viewer, particularly given that much of pre-season testing now is gonna be televised, well, how are we supposed to know what any particular car is running on at any given time? How will we know if they set a super fast lap time, whether it was on the softest tire, the hardest tire, C5, C4, C3, C2, or C1? How would we know that if there's only three color nominations of the tires for 2019? Because actually you can forget all of this, forget all of those, they're gone. 2019, 2018, that's over, that's all gone. In fact, for 2019, this is slightly confusing the way I've done it. Surprise, surprise. Because these colours don't exist anymore on Pirelli Formula One tyres. So that's gone as well. So essentially all we have is a three different colour band. So how do we know? Well, I have done some digging, I have looked into this, and all but getting it confirmed by Pirelli, because they haven't confirmed it for me, but this is what everybody's telling me is going to happen for pre-season testing in Barcelona. Okay, so what you will see running around the track in Barcelona when it comes to pre-season testing is this. We'll see the C1 compound, the hardest compound, which will have no markings on it. That will essentially just be a black sidewall tire. C2 will have the white band on it. That will be the next hardest in the range. Uh, C3 will be the yellow. Uh, C4 will be the orange. And C5 will be the red tire. Now you might say, why on earth didn't they just use the colors that we're all used to from last year to denominate the five different compounds for pre-season testing? Well, I think, and it does make some sense that Pirelli want to distance themselves from what we had last year. They want people to forget these names of Hypersoft, Superhard and everything else that went in between. Um, they want people to start moving forward to this new way of doing things, which will mean you'll only have white, yellow and red. So to keep an array, array of, of tyre colours, even if it's just for this one-off pre-season testing event, um, it will just start to bring people's minds towards the fact that that's all we'll have for the rest of the season. At least it gives us an opportunity to know that if we see a car running around in pre-season testing with a black unmarked tyre, it's the C1 compound, it's the hardest compound that will be available throughout 2019. So I think it makes some sense, it enables us to keep a closer eye on testing, it enables us to draw some comparisons, to put a little bit of meaning into the times, with the obvious caveat that testing times mean absolutely nothing, but I think it makes some sense. Um, the other quick point to make is that they have changed some of the characteristics of the uh, the tyre, some of the construction characteristics. Uh, notably, the tread is now going to be the thinner gauge. If you remember back to uh, Barcelona, where was it, French Grand Prix and Silverstone. We had the thinner gauge tyres, didn't we? Because they were worried about tyres overheating uh, and the thinner gauge tyres seemed to do the trick uh, in that it had less bulk to the, to the tread um, part of the tyre construction. And it seemed to work very well. And so they decided actually to go with that throughout the whole of 2019. So every race and a standard now, it'll be the thinner gauge tread. One interesting note, of course, is that if you remember back, the races where we saw that thinner gauge treaded tyre were all the races, notably, where Ferrari's pace fell away and Mercedes' pace became much stronger. Is that going to be a feature of the 2019, no, 2019 cars uh, with the 2019 tyres? Uh, Only time will tell. 
But that's how it's going to work. I hope that makes some sense for you. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, please. And I will see you next time.